Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Hi, I'm Robert All from Tipton, Indiana, and this is my 1951 W4 back here behind me. Bob Off and his need as a pen 1951 W4 are quite a pair. The W stands for Wheatland, and this standard front tractor spent its working life in Canada. Bob did all the restoration work himself. And once he gets on the subject of his beloved red tractor, well, it's hard to get Bob off. Well, this tractor here, uh, it's kind of a scarce little tractor because I, I started making them in 1940. Uh, and quit making them in 1953, but they only made a little over 32,000 of them in 13 years. I sell like quite a few. But you take the H or the M, they made almost a half a million of each of them in the same duration of time. Listen, here's a 1951, uh, serial number 28802. This particular tractor, uh, I bought off of a gentleman down in Tennessee, his name is Hugh Dixon. Uh, I love the old guy, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, got, he's a character, he really is. He said he had two W4s, and I said, you've got two W4s? He goes, yeah. And I go, gosh, nobody needs two of them. He said, well, now, he said, I kind of think they're cute. Bob thought the tractor was cute, too. And two weeks later, he had a deal to make this W4 his own. Restoration work followed, and the results, well, they speak for themselves. It's just a joy little tractor. It, it runs good. I mean, everything works on it. Uh, it's real dependable. It's easy to clean up. But I'm not afraid to get it muddy. I, I can attest to that. Bob's shiny red bundle of power is a sight to behold. Moving along the edge of a cornfield, catching admiring looks out on the highway, or showing off some muscle in a field. I enjoy to work them. Uh, if I can enjoy it and use it, I'm not afraid to get it dirty. As you can see the mud on the tires, it's muddy out there today. Bob grew up driving red tractors on his dad's farm, and though this one wasn't a family tractor, Bob and the W4 have a common bond. I was born in 51 and so was this, so that's, I'll probably hang on to it. It's a keeper. A keeper indeed. The four-cylinder, 152 cubic inch international engine is the same power plant as in the more plentiful Farmall H. The two-bottom plow the W4 is teamed with was new in 1951 as well. It's 214, number eight, little genius plow, and you set the hitch for the tractor you're going to pull it with it. The plow is important because pretty as this little 4,000-pound W4 is, putting his tractor to work is one of the things that Bob likes best. Classic tractors, I mean, it's just. There's nothing I like better than getting four or five or six of them together in a field and uh, turning over some ground with all the old motors working together. And just listening to the motor work and the tractor working and everything, watching the dirt turn over. Though farming wasn't his life's work, plowing is second nature for Bob, who still remembers the instructions his dad gave him before he dropped his first blade into the furrow. <laughs> That's it, son. Get on this tractor seat and go around and around and I'll let you know what you're doing wrong. <laughs> Uh, just learn from experience, basically. Those experiences on the farm are now fond memories, and plowing has turned into something Bob just does for fun. Him and the W4, and days gone by. Oh, it's just a heritage. Uh, I don't know, just reminiscent of the old days of what you used to do. Back in this day, it was work, but uh, it's fun today to do it.